Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Night Shift with Respawn Machine, Indie Horror Saturday edition. It is I, Respawn Machine. I don't know why I say, I don't know why that became like my thing to start off streams with. Like, it'd be kind of weird if it wasn't me. Just like somebody hacked into my account. It's like, <laughs> welcome to the Night Shift. I'm not Respawn Machine. That'd be pretty weird, but anything's possible, I guess. Anyway, how is everybody? Hi, Siri. You were first. Good job. <laughs> and Chronic says, just filled myself up with pasta. Time to scare it out of me. Very nice, Chronic. <laughs> OK, I'll see what I can do. We'll see. I don't know. Um, it's a mixed bag with Indie Horror Saturday. So we'll see, hopefully. Um, despite you know over a month of doing this, I've been doing this for like, what, two months now? I think, shoot, like, it's weird. Um, the summer went by really fast, but it feels like I've been doing this way longer than two months. It's the fastest, slowest summer ever, and, ew, what's up with that line there? Hold on a second. There we go, much better, much better. All right, so, as is, Customary on, I'm sorry, hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Ah, thank you, Katamari, for the host, dear husband. Dear husbando. Many thanks. All right, I have scooted everything so that my elbow is not digging into my laptop, which is very good and important. I really need to clean this, this desktop off at some point. Uh, and that should probably be good. Let me try it. I'm going to adjust one more thing. Very much host. Very thank. Indeed. Yes. Very thank. All right. That is, okay, that is better. I have done it somehow. Chat's at a weird angle, but I can still read it. That's what matters. Pyro fell over. You know, my buddy... Pyro from TF2, who stands on my desk. I'm just gonna, Pyro, you're just gonna go slightly under it. I'm gonna just take a nap under the monitor. There we go, perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right, let's get started. First things first, we are going to go with Grandfather's Book by Mikkel MJ. Grandfather's book. Let me find it. Here it is. Thank you for shouting out Chronic Siri. Uh, I'm going to get... Hold on. And then... I should really do... I should start doing these, because they're in here. And I just, for some reason, kind of forgot about them for a while, but I should start doing those. Uh, working on some music stuff, I'll be here in about... Okay, sounds good, Siri. I hope your Saturday has gone well. It has, thank you. It was weirdly quick. Yeah. Oh, this? Yay! Yes, I need to start using them. I, Chronic, I don't remember if you started streaming before or after I did these. Let me see. Yep, okay. So, Chronic, if you're still here and you want to copy this and uh, fill it out and send it back to me, I don't know if you guys heard my snaps, but yeah, that would be cool. I'm glad you like it, Siri. Yay. All right, uh, yeah. So, this game. Come along, game. Grandfather's book. Here we go, hopefully. Run anyway. And let me see if Streamlabs gets it. Can I wait a moment? There it is. Excellent. Okay. Here we go. Hold on. Why is there no sound? 
You guys have you guys have sound. Okay. Where am I? This is not my room, but it looks but I looks familiar. I do I do looks familiar. It looks like my grandfather's house, but that can't be. He died a year ago. And why should I be here? Oh, this is quality already. Look how tall I am. Um What is going on with the lights? Okay. <laughs> Yep, there, there's the lights again. Hello. Hello. Is here anyone? It, does this person not natively speak English? How is there no doors to this room? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right. This book was not here before. It must be the book my grandfather found. He was so obsessed by it and cut all contact from others just to read this stupid book. But where did it come from? Nosferatu! I could take a look at it just to see what it's all about. Yeah, it's Nosferatu. It's from SpongeBob. Agony brings fear to the lost souls who reads the words. The words shall set the lost free from this world. What the hell is this kind of book? Why would grandfather read this? Um, I didn't expect, okay, when I downloaded this, I thought it was just going to be kind of lame. I didn't expect it to be like this. I didn't think I was going to start off my stream with, uh, with this kind of game. Fuck grandpa. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chronic. I agree. I can't even get on this bed. Wait, I'm sorry. Did I just see, like... Got a, a blue bar up at the top. I like how you spelled it with an N, Chronic. It's a good touch. Yeah, I thought this was just going to be, like, your run-of-the-mill, like, eh, it was alright kind of horror game, so I didn't think it was going to be, uh... this sort of typo-fest. But here we are. Okay. Also, this person... Katamari, is this what the world looks like to you? Where you're like almost at the top of the door frame and you can like hit your head on the ceiling? Yes, okay. I, I figured. I want somebody to make a very tall and a very short simulator where you play a game in a normal house as a very tall or a very short person. That sounds interesting to me. I would play that. Uh oh. Uh, Penumbra? Maybe? That sounds like something from Penumbra, which is another game by the folks who made Amnesia. It's pretty good. What's in the closet? How do I. I don't even know what the controls are. It's, I apparently can't open that. What was that? I need to get out of here! I must be dreaming! This can't be real! Is this a nightmare? Nosferatu! <laughs> Scary! Penumbra is good game. I, I agree. Penumbra is good game. What is that? Hold on. Is this a thing? Can I pick this up? Or is this just set dressing? I guess it's just set dressing. You got the spook? From Penumbra or the zombie that just ran down the hallway out of the blue? You know, okay, all right, so jump scares. I feel like we need to talk about jump scares because people always mention jump scares as something that's really stupid that they hate, and I agree. They are usually really stupid and I hate them. However, a jump scare like that versus a jump scare that's well-deserved are two entirely different animals. Because, yeah, if something randomly comes at you towards your face, even a, in a video game, just kind of out of nowhere, it's gonna startle you a little bit. But, um, a really good... The naked zombie got you? I admit I jumped just a little bit, but, like, not out of fear, because, but because there's something coming at me. And that shit is so cheap, and I hate it. It's just, it's the worst. Like, I don't mind getting jump scared, but the game has got to earn it. It's got to make me, like, worry about jump scares, and then when I least expect it, 
actually jump scare me or when I most expect it. I don't know. You just can't fling a zombie at me and be like, oh, that's scary. It's startling. There's a difference. Tilly startled me last night. We were playing tag. And we're like, we play this like tag hide and seek hybrid sometimes. And she, she got me. She just jumped out of nowhere and she like knocked a tin of pencils at the same time. So there was this like loud clattering sound and suddenly she's just there with her like splayed out legs. And uh, she startled me. I was proud of her. It was a cheap scare that elicited a uh, whoa from you. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's it's bullshit because I don't know. Anyone can do that. Anyone can fling something at you. It's just. And then I get then I get startled and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck this. This is <laughs> that's so cheap. And I get all salty about it, but I think it's warranted. Uh oh. These are metal plates that have sunk into they look like they're partially in the table. They're like embedded. I know they're not, but an apron. Very coordinated. This is the same book. How did it get here? Is it the book that makes this place go crazy? I fell there. Is someone in here? Oh, hey. What's up, dude? Hi. I'm I going insane? Okay. All right. Uh, is it in the closet? Like I kind I kind of jump scared people in my first film, which I'm starting to feel very lame about talking about all the time because I've only done one film and I'm still like I'm a filmmaker. Um, but it was deserved. It was like this tense moment of like looking around and like slowly creeping up the stairs and then and then there was kind of a loud noise and it wasn't like a traditional straight up jump scare, but it was a little bit of a jump scare. But it was like. That is very different from just like, haha, <laughs> thing, enjoy, so scary, got you. My cat got me too, okay. Speaking of, what are you doing, bud? Are you gonna sleep there all day? Hold on, I need a, I need a retrieve cat. She is right behind me. Good now. You want a treat? Oh, and she dropped it. Here you go, buddy. Up there. Get it up there. Come on. Okay. There's, there it is. Get it. Good girl. Okay, sorry. Oh, she grabbed it and she jumped off again. Cool. What is this? Uh, I don't understand anything. It's a baby changing station, like an old fashioned. Am I even alive anymore? A old fashioned baby changing station? Or is this a dream? Sorry, it's very important that I read these subtitles. Not that book again. Why does it keep following me? What did I do? There must be a clue in this book I didn't read before. The words shall set the lost free from this world, and into another shall the words imprison. Words imprison? Am I inside the book? Oh, I'm I inside the book? Uh-oh. Looks like someone went to Yankee Candle.
Is that still, is that store still open? Hi, Taylor, good girl. Grandfather's book. Okay, thanks for playing. Please comment what you think. Um, no, I don't think I will. I don't think you would. Uh, what the, what gives? There's no way to select, start game, or quit. Um, great. That was, that was Grandfather's Book, a game I didn't expect to be quite as bad as it was. So yeah. <laughs> Spooky, I know. One of your favorite cheap jump scares was from the first Jurassic Park, when they are turning the power back on and the dino is in there too and scares you. She tussles with it and bumps the wall and the arm falls, which was a relief, but then not. Uh, yeah, you like scares that get you because they lulled you into a false sense of security. Yeah, yeah, or like, not even that, when, when you've been expecting one for the past half an hour or whatever of watching or playing something, and you've kind of just gotten to the point where you're like, no, there's, it's not going to happen. It's not so much like a sense of security as it is just like, I guess it is a kind of sense of security, but yeah, just long drawn out tension and then sudden relief, I guess. Not relief, like a cathartic kind of like, oh, fuck, and then it's over with. Or something. I don't know what I'm saying, but I, maybe, maybe you guys get it. I don't know. Now the real game begins. Imagine. And no worries, Chronic. I do walls of text all the time. Unfortunately. Not that I mind walls of text, I just mean, like, I find myself dumping walls of text repeatedly into, like, like, void stream, for instance. I do that a lot, and then I'm like, shit, that was, that was way too long. Sorry. You kind of agree you just don't like your tension boner to die out? Um, yeah, agreed, actually. Agreed. Unless they immediately build it right back up, but that's, that's not super common. Tension boner is the name of my band. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. True Nightmares by volt 4 Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Is it supposed to be... I said volt 4 assuming the 4 was supposed to stand in for an A or something, but, uh... Voltphoric sounds like euphoric, but with volts in front of it, so maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. True Nightmares, Chapter 1. Here we go. Run anyway. Play. It is not possible to save progress, as the game only lasts 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. That's fair. Sorry, I'm very thirsty, I'm realizing. Got some uh, pomegranate white tea. It's pretty good. Now that I'm thinking about it, if green tea is fresh tea leaves, oh, I'm going to take a shower. I need the towel in my room upstairs. Okay. If, if green tea is fresh tea leaves and black tea is like roasted or dried tea leaves, what is white tea? Is it like premature green tea? Or is it like very lightly toasted? Because it's like the most uh, delicate tasting of the three main tea types, main tea types, there's other ways to do tea. Yeah, you also got your pu'er, which sounds funny, but is delicious. It's like fermented black tea, but it's really hard to get like, it's, the grocery store kind you can get is delicious. I really like it, but I have heard that true fermented pu'er is like really unusual tasting and I would like to try it eventually. Wait a minute. Oh. Do I have a flashlight? What's this? Oh, it's a garage. Don't slip on the floor. Thermos. 
or a spray can. Don't know. Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. I like the sound of rain. It's good sound. Is this the bathroom? Ah. Oh, hey. Oh. I don't know what this room is. Oh, yeah, probably the bathroom. Okay. Ooh, neato. I don't know, I'm kind of into this house. Like, low-key into this house. I would live here. Assuming there's no, like, horrible monsters in it or whatever the deal is. Oh, great. Towel. Wait a minute, is this just a white panel? Oh, okay. It's a medicine cabinet, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, a bedroom. Oh, yes, that is the best way to store a towel. That's how they get dry, you know. That's, uh, if you want to make sure your towel isn't musty smelling, that's how you store it. Yeah, no joke, I would... I don't know in this house. It's a pretty sweet house. Got a little courtyard. I don't want curtains on here, but... Oops. Get in the shower and close the door. Okay. Nothing can hurt me in the shower in this game, I'm sure. It's, it's pretty nice having a shower this big. Imagine if the game just ended there. Just like, and that's it. Enjoy your shower. Thanks for playing. Oh, my phone. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, I gotta turn off all the lights. Hold on. Sarah, yep. Okay. You're sensing cheap spoops? That is fair, Chronic. That is fair. I am not sure what to expect at the moment, but it could very well be cheap spoops. Tootie fruity, family size. Ah, the garage. Kinda hate this kitchen though, so I don't know, maybe not. Gotta scooch chili closer. Aha! Gotcha. Gotcha, bud. Alright, so what's over here? Wait a minute. Disarm now? Oh, well, it says it's it's off, I guess, but still. Alright, where is... There we go. Oh, okay. Does this light even turn on? No, that's weird. 
Okay. Can I go in here? The store is just decoration. Okay, this light. Good, good. And uh, that's it, I guess. Great. Also, my mouse keeps hitting something on my desk. I did turn off all the lights. Does this count? Is this a light now? <sighs> Hold on. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's figure out what... All right, this is one of my pet peeves in games when a door only opens one way, but uh, it, it stops opening because you are in the way. Really annoying. Oh, there it is, that's why. Like, like this. And then you have to go and do it again to get it to open. Just have them swing both ways. It's a game. Nobody's going to be like, oh, that's not possible. All right, get into bed. Time for sleeps. Good night. Can I move and look and stuff? Oh, no, okay. What's all this then? This is in my bedroom. This is a cesspit. This is in my cell phone. This is a, a small, dangerous, gas-filled fire machine. Just kidding, I have one of these. It doesn't work very well, though, because the, the lighter fluid will not... It, it leaks out really fast. But it might just be like a really cheap Zippo. I think I got it at Walmart, which I don't really like shopping at Walmart anyway, but I always wanted a Zippo for no reason. I just like fire. Hold on. Can I, can I, yeah, no. I mean, they're good tools to have around. Like when your burners won't work, <clears throat> like on our, our, our stove. There we go. Ah! Ah! Where's my other mouse so I can scroll down? Wythrum! Hello! Thank you very much for the raid. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you, Katamari. Life is strange. How are you enjoying it? I have not seen... Or not, not seen. I have not played Life is Strange, but I've seen some of Life is Strange. And it looks like... I don't know, kind of a emotionally draining game, but that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> How was it? Thank you so much for the raid. Slow going, but it is good. Good. Hell yeah. Uh, we're just playing through some mixed bag indie horror games. Uh, we already had one that was chock full of typos. Just a typo fest. And that was fun. And now we're doing this one, which... You know, the jury's still out on, but we'll see. A raid that's worth it. Good one, Siri. <laughs> you're playing, oh, you're playing with your lady and it was precious? That's awesome. Katamari, you and I should stream sometime. <laughs> that's cool, though. Uh, you beat it a while ago, but you and Jen are playing it together. That's really cool. That sounds fun. Um, I have thought about doing... I don't know, like some Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, some mod mods probably, because I think everyone's, just about everyone's seen the base game at this point. And uh, if Katamari's into it, I might ask him to help me do some voices. 
which would be fun. But uh, uh, she's a sweet lady. Awesome. She wants to play Man Eater. Oh. Oh. What? Okay. Shark game. Is it like a? Please tell me it's like a JRPG shark game <laughs> because I want there to be a JRPG shark game. Is this the room I came out of? Oh, I can I can open drawers in this game. How how novel and exciting. What's that? I'm glad my puns are appreciated. Always, Siri. Always. I'll be here all week. Man eater looks interesting. It's a weird power-up action shark game. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to look into that, because now I'm curious. But thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for being here. Oh, I don't think I introduced myself for everyone yet. Haha, <laughs> whoops. My name is Respawn Machine. Uh, welcome to the Night Shift, where I just play horror all the time. That's pretty much my main thing. And then occasionally during the day I play some retro games, but mostly just horror 24-7. Uh, it is an RPG shark game. Yes, okay, I'm into it. Actually, wait a minute. I think Bri might have told me about that one. Maybe? Huh. Still, you can jump on land? Awesome, okay. <laughs> it had been a little while and you had a blast with Deadly Premonition 2? Wait, did you guys play it or did you visit one of my streams? Why am I- hold on. <laughs> Do you, do you mean you played it, or I think, I think you were in, okay, yes, yes. I was like, I think so, but the way you phrased it, I was like, wait a minute, did you play it too? It is a pretty fun game. It's pretty weird, but really fun. Oh my goodness, yes, okay, yep, yep. <laughs> that scene, oh boy. Fun times, fun times. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad the weird... The weird mommy lady scene did not scare you off. Yes, nailed it. Okay, I'll take it. Ugh, it was so... That was like... In a weird way, that was some of the best horror I've seen in a while. Because I felt so like, uh during that scene. Like, I didn't want to see or hear any more of it. But had to. Because the game made me and that's actually some pretty effective horror right there like feeling grossed out and revolted by something and just having to sit there and listen to it anyway i mean uh oh the hallway is really dark i need more light there must be a power box to turn it on probably thank you siri Oh shit! How did I? <laughs> oh no! Oops! Oh no! I fucked up. Uh, in my defense, I was probably uh really dumb when I was making that. Okay, that was loud. <laughs> Thanks, Kanamari. Sorry. I love you. I love you! Where is my mouse? There it is. I've got two mice on the desk at the moment. I goofed. I goofed. In my defense, we're a, a Mary. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> uh, but to be fair, Kata, I did think you were both my age. Yes! Nailed it. <laughs> I'm... I'm 29. I'm the old one in this relationship, which is fine, but yeah. Which is weird. I'm not going to be in my 20s anymore soon. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I guess it's a good thing in, in a way. Like, apparently a lot of people enjoy their 30s a lot. It's like a, it's a new era. But at the same time, that's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. You're a million? I see. Um, how, how have you enjoyed being a million? Like, pros, cons, not bad, kind of okay. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Katamari, again. <laughs> I don't know how I how I fucked that one up. And Syro's nine! Hello, Syro! I think you're a little young for this stream, mister. <laughs> how you doing? Welcome. Uh, I hear they're called the Roaring Thirties. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope so. I'm still like... I, I think I've said this like twice on stream now. 29 was supposed to be my year when I, you know, like really get my shit kicked off. I was gonna do a bunch of YouTube things this year. It's gonna like, yeah, just make stuff, make another film, really make it a year to remember. And then, you know, 2020 happened. Eh, it, some of it happened. I'm streaming. You guys are here. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. I guess I should, t I guess that, that is, uh, that's a big takeaway from 2020. I mean, other than, you know, like, everything about 2020. Me, personally, 2020. Uh-oh, it's locked and the lights went out. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no, there's a very tall man down at the end of the hallway. Oh no. You are improbably tall, person. I'm gonna, I can't sp What the shit was that? Just yeeted down the hallway at me. Just floated. That wasn't even a very good, like, float animation. It was just a... <laughs> and it was a car horn. Yep. Okay, Wythrum. Thank you so much for the raid. Please enjoy dinner. Please take care. Sorry about this. <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay, loud. Very loud. Unnecessarily loud. Thank you for shouting out Wythrum again, Katamari. Take care, Wythrum. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon. Uh, so that was interesting. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on, car horn. I feel like I missed a bunch of chat. Thank you for shouting out Cyber Tech. Uh, there should be a exclamation point Cyber Tech in there. Uh, and the ow, my back forties. <laughs> shame the world caught on fire. I know, I know. I mean, shame for multiple reasons. Did you guys hear about the um? The boat rodeos and wait a minute, hold on. What is hap where am I right now? Am I trapped in the wall? What am I looking at? Uh this is a genuine question. Did I get trapped in the wall somehow? Um Uh how? How did this I can't even reach my phone? Guys, I think I got trapped in the wall. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. How did this happen? I, it's not even like I'm trying at this point. This shit just happens. Where's the life alert? I, it, it's, I think it's over there, because there's an exclamation point. But I also think I've been trapped in the wall. At least that's what it seems to be. Okay. All right, uh, I can't move. So I, I think that's the end of the line for this game. Close window. All right, that was True Nightmares, chapter one. By Voltforic. Yep. All right. How can this game exist if only 20 people exist on Earth? Maybe um, somebody made it and then they forgot they made it and uh, just had some gen some localized amnesia. Maybe I made it and I just get it and make this. No way. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I looking at? Story of my life. <laughs> yep. Yep. Also, just still. Was I stuck in the wall? I, I couldn't tell because it was too dark, but I genuinely think I got stuck in the wall. And 
Jeez. Okay. Anyway, we're moving on to Incident at Work by Unknown X. See what this is all about. Wait a minute. Hold up. Katamari, I might have put 26, but I definitely showed it to you before I put it in. So. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How do we both? Are you sure I passed it to you on my phone? Like the note, I had the notes open and asked you to fill it out. Anyway, it's all good. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive. That we could, I think we both stroked out. Yeah. Anyway, please forgive. Forgive me, your, your dumb and bad wife. While working at night, I witnessed some strange events. I was alone, so nobody believed what I saw. To prove that I am not crazy, I decided to take a camera at work and see what happens. What follows is the video from that night. All right. Neat. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of green light that's sort of shining in a weird way, but that's fine. What's this? Is this a garbage can? Is this like a mini garbage can? <laughs> Weird. Hold up. Here's the door. Uh... Tektronics? So our server banks? This look pretty good, actually. Hey, it's another it's another video camera. Very good. I wonder how I pick stuff up. All right. Happy new millennium. With the new millennium on the horizon, here on Tektron X, we are proud to announce our new department, Autonomous Technical Combat Research and Development. Our new department's goal is to engineer autonomous and remote-controlled robots with the ability to neutralize op opposing forces on hostile environment. Aided by the military, our new department promises advancement in the field of robotics with the assistance of the Data Engineering and Artificial Intelligence Department. The DA. Hey, I left some hard drives here. Look, dude, I don't want you to get in trouble, but there were no malfunctions during my shift. I believe that you are doing your job, so I won't say anything, but you have to be very careful. So this is supposed to be in 2001, but like, there's lines running up. I don't think that, uh... Yeah, like, I actually have some footage from early 2000s in my intro for this stream, and none of them, I mean, they're a little crusty, because it's that time period, but not, uh, not this crusty. Alright, so what am I doing? Ah, uh, there's me! There's I. Got my arm out. Not holding the camera in an ergonomic fashion. Okay. Got that FPS arm out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I do. But like, it doesn't even look like I'm necessarily supporting the other arm with one arm. Maybe I am. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it, it looks kind of like I just have, like, one arm out holding the camera. Yes? Hello?
Is that it? Uh, how do I make it stop? Why is everything beeping in these games tonight? Uh, okay. Instructions. A quick rundown of things you have to keep in mind. All servers are working. Room temperature is not too hot. No one enters the room but you. Seriously, if any hard drive is stolen, you don't just lose your job. Okay. Green light. Red. Alright. Alright. Um. Wait a minute. Okay. How do I pick things up? Pick up! Uh, let me see. <sighs> Got the duty shoot a man. <laughs> Call the duty shoot a man's. Mm hmm. The real terror are the beeps we find along the way. Yeah, really. So much beeping. Why so much beeping? Too much. My mouth is very dry. Okay. How do I pick this up? I'm trying literally every button. I know I picked one up already. Do I hop over? Aha! How do I make it stop? Stop! Stop! I will quit this game in a moment because it's so annoying. I just uh, opened up the run prompt. All right, I don't, I don't like this. All right, that was kind of bullshit. Sorry, incident at work. <sighs> okay, Katamari, please be safe. I love you. I'll see you soon. Okay. Moving on, we are going to go with Artificial by Blurred Games. Yeah, that was a, that was a lot. I didn't like that. Uh, hold up, where is Artificial? Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this one did not make it into my my folder. Give me a few seconds. I'm just downloading it because what what gives? That's weird. Oh well. <sighs> so how was everyone's Saturday? Hope it was good. Mine was weird and fast. I don't know. Feels like it went by really fast. Which I guess it did. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. You have that note thing if I want it. Oh, great. Okay. Um, would you mind either whispering it to me? Chronic or um, sending it via Twitter. Hold up, nope. <sighs> it was good. Glad to hear that, Siri. And uh, guess the week is 
Weekend is flying by. They turned up the Earth's speed. That's what it feels like. That's really what it feels like. At least for this year. I hope they slow it back down. For 2021. It's weird. I don't know if I've mentioned this on stream yet. Or before. Or whatever. Um, like the first album I listened to of 2020 was uh, What what the Broken Hearted Do by Tim Heidecker. And it's like a really melancholy album that's kind of disguised as like sort of folksy acoustic stuff. There's definitely just some straight up melancholy songs, but it's like a weirdly upbeat melancholy album. And it was the first album I listened to in 2020. And I just remember thinking like, oh man, I hope this album doesn't really like define the rest of the year or the decade or whatever. And then, I don't know, here we are. Just one of those, one of those years. Mm. But uh, did you guys hear about the boat parades today? And how uh, the naiads aren't terribly thrilled with, with the whole Trump thing anymore? You know, the naiads, the, the minor deities of freshwater, according to the Greek mythologies. Yeah, everyone's just saying Poseidon, and I'm like, it's not even the ocean, guys, it's a lake. All right. Artificial. Oh, wait. Cool. Artificial. There is no Satan, no God, only humanity. New game. London, 1886. In the midst of the Industrial Revolution, Justice Vanacut, a brilliant scientist and inventor ahead of his time, is obsessed with creating a machine. The machine. Justice doesn't know very well why he should create it or what its purpose is. He simply feels the need to create it. But the most disturbing thing is that the machine needs fuel to run, and that fuel is very expensive to get. The machine asks for human beings. Justice must focus all his efforts on creating the machine, so he has no choice but to hire a ruthless killer called the Nipper to get him the precious fuel that the machine demands. Now I take quick peeks of my notifications and messages on social media. That's smart, Siri. I don't know. I. It feels maybe, it under normal circumstances I would feel like. Uh oh, hold up. Say what? Is that the train? Did a train go by? Okay. Uh, under normal circumstances I would feel. Kind of bad and skeezy doing this, but. 2020 is no longer normal circumstances. So there's part of me that takes some kind of joy in watching like the slow unraveling of um, the current uh, yep, the smart person word for group of people who are calling the shots. Uh, yeah, I forgot the word. Damn it. Still though, it's 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 a little satisfying to watch things kind of unravel. I can't help it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll find myself just like browsing the the Twitter newsfeed because a lot of shit has gone down in the past week or so that's just been like uh, okay, all right, good. Um, Respawn is a revolutionist. Confirm. Oh yes, most certainly, Chronic. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yep. I mean, if the forces of nature are on our side, what can I say? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's the whole military thing. We're just pretty fucked up. He said that uh, people who died in war were suckers and called people in the military losers, which I'm not a huge fan of the military, but that's just rude and really, I don't know, that's a pretty awful thing to say. And then, uh, yeah, just the strokes thing. I don't know. It's been a, it's been it's been a lot in the past week or so. Anyway, we're gonna play this game. I'm gonna stop babbling about this shit. Anyway, yeah, uh, several boats sank in a Trump boat parade today. Nobody was hurt. Just the boats sank. Um, nobody's sure why. Although apparently that lake is pretty bad for uh, boating accidents. From what I understand, there's a lot of like treacherous underwater terrain, you know, like 
I don't want to say reefs, but rockiness type stuff. Um, and then in a different Trump boat parade on a different lake, a boat caught on fire. And then that's all I've heard so far. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more idiocy from around the country. But yeah, that's, that's today's thing. Let's read this note. Rotate, okay. Then, can I read this? Yes. November 14th, 1886. One unpleasant November night, I contemplated the end of my efforts. With an anxiety bordering on agony, I placed myself in front of the instruments that would allow me to breathe life into the inert thing before me. It was one o'clock at night. The rain was pounding on the windows, and the shadows cast by the gas lamps were creating a ghostly atmosphere. When I activated the switch, a thunderous noise invaded the chamber. It was waking up. It was alive. Okay, and I see what looked like Morse code down there. Uh, I don't remember dot 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 dot. But I'm sure I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh, how convenient. It is V. V. You'd think they'd take the hint. You would think. You would think. But, um, I feel... <laughs> I feel like we have some revolutionary stupidity on our hands right now as well. And pride. And lack of shame. Hey, Hooch! Uh, this is the fourth game. Fourth game in. Um, first one was a typo fest that had like a really cheap jump scare. Second one was a little bit better. I had a cheap jump scare, and then I got stuck in a wall. Third one had a beeping that would not stop that I didn't know how to fix, so I stopped playing, and here, here we are on the fourth one. <laughs> How's it going, Hooch? How's your Saturday been? I was just talking about the, uh, the boats that the Naiads sank. I'm sure you, you know what boot, boats I'm talking about. Boots. The boots. It's a wheel! Metal, oil, and chains. These are the entrails of the machine. Uh. Oh. I am, I am one with the machine now. Hello. It is I. I am the machine. <laughs> I am the machine. Very good. Okay. Can I walk into this one? Yes. I am also this machine. This is so stupid. I'm sorry. Boots. Oh yeah! October the 14th! The day after my birthday. Hell yeah! There was somebody else who was... Maybe it was... I think Bry's in October as well? Then, uh... Yours is September 29th. Hell yeah. Yeah! Some fall babies up in here. Mm-hmm. I am a Libra, although I like to say Hydra because I'm a pain in the ass who's like... Just gotta... Gotta be a sass mouth about everything, I guess. I don't know. Has anyone ever used the phrase sass mouth non-ironically? I hope so. Uh, anomalous materials. Oh, uh, Half-Life 2 book, I'm sure. Just kidding. Are anomalous materials an actual thing? I know that was, um... Gordon Freeman was a anomalous materials researcher in Half-Life 2. Sign buddies. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Mr. Napier's works marked on this map of London. Cool. Red seeds. Uh oh, somebody get York. 
<laughs> Got all these red seeds in here. That is a project I'm going to take upon myself to do one of these days, and that is find the closest plant that exists in our world that could be the red tree from Deadly Premonition. Because I'm sure I could find something. Uh, I don't know what that is. Hold on. Chains. Ego machine. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this thing is. Okay. Murder in the East End. Dreadful mu mutilation of a woman. Mutilation. Uh, read. Mr. Napier. I assume that's how one would pronounce that in like a French fashion. But anyway. I appreciate your invaluable help and your discretion. I have been very satisfied with your work, but I will no longer need your services. Please pick up your last payment at the usual place, and I remind you that you should not tell anyone about our project, or else your face will appear in all the London newspapers. I hope you understand my position. Once again, thank you. And then, some more notes. November 1st, 1886. Uncertainty, fear, pain, corruption, death. I can smell the stench that emanates from your miserable bottle bodies, and I can't bear it. Dark hours loom over humanity, and I will be the beginning of your liberation. Those voices do not let me live. I listen to them at all hours. I can't stand it anymore. Okay. So we have two Morse code letters. I know one was a V. Uh, famous crimes. Wait a minute, why is that one twitching? It was for a second. Murder in the eat end equals fancy murder. Yes. I know you meant east end, I'm sorry. <laughs> November 26th, 1886. How can I express my feelings in the face of this catastrophe, or describe the monster that with so much effort and infinite work I had created? Its gears were well lubricated, and I had carefully selected every piece of metal, every nut, to fit perfectly. My god, I was not aware of my delirium until it was too late. What was I trying to do? Why create that monstrosity? So many lives sacrificed, but the voices, those voices forced me. It wasn't my fault. Now the beast is alive and roars hungrily, but it won't be me who feeds it, not anymore. I put an end to this nightmare, and I just hope that whoever finds my creation doesn't go crazy like me and destroys that damn machine. Uh, hold on, so we got four, and then a, a long beep, and then let me see what this guy is right here. Beep, one, two, three, four. Okay. And that one is on the far left. And then... Okay. Check my Morse code sheet. Alright. So we got a V. I think. <laughs> Gotta be. Uh, or. We might have a three. Then we got a four. And a six. Okay, I think it was probably three, four, six. I think. Alright. There was something that had a lock on it over here somewhere. Let me see if I can spot it again. At least I think there was something I had a lock on it over here. Is that it? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, there's that. Three, four... 
And then let's try this. Anything? Nope. Okay. This? Okay. Nope. Hold on. This is a very impractical way of doing this. Just put in numbers. Come on. Well, now I'm not even sure I'm doing this right. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna... <laughs> ah, stair murder. That one is easy to fall into. Good job, Chronic. <laughs> well done. Well done. There's so many puns that go on in this chat. <laughs> I don't even know. You actually meant E end. You never make mistakes. I see, Hooch. I see. My bad. Apologies. All right, let's see if I can exit. To open it, I need the lever. Okay, I'm guessing that's what's in the box. So, okay, one, two, three, four, and then a dash is at the end, I guess. That is what I'm assuming here. Should I just, right there, yep. That's weird. That's not a number. Unless they're missing uh, a bar, that is not a number. That was V, I think. Yeah. That's V. Weird. Unless they mean five. What's five? Unless V is... Huh. All right, and then this one is... Oh, I think I know what I need to know. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird... Okay, that was November 1st. This is November 4th. Is that a nine or a four? I can't tell. November 14th or 19th, cool. And this is... November 1st, so, okay, that's gonna go first. And this is last, okay. All right, that, So, see now I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like, hit. there we go, cool beans, found it, got it, rotate, no, uh, open please. Okay. Open! Open! <sighs> Aha! There we go. Got it! Take! I did a puzzle, everybody! Yay! Wow! Put that away. All right, let's figure out what I could use a key on. Hey, Tilly. Tilly. Uh, this thing? Okay. I found a, that's not a, that's not a lever. That's a valve, if anything. Well, not a valve per se, like the, the the knob, the knob of the valve. All right, well, 
Ah. Ooh, spooky. Look at that. That's all spooky. What, is that it? Aw, oh, man. Alright. That was pretty cool for one person in a few days. That wasn't bad. I mean, I, I didn't really... I wouldn't call that a horror, per se. But it was, it was kind of spooky. It was, um... It had... I mean, maybe if there was more of it. If there was more to it, it could be a horror, but at the moment it's just kind of like a spooky point-and-click kind of thing. Which isn't a bad thing, but I don't know. Alright, I mean good job, uh Blurred Games. It was well made. I was able to walk into a machine, but you know, that's okay. Maybe maybe that's a, a selling point. I don't know. Alright, next up. Vertigo Temple by Cywabats. And I have this one ready to go, fortunately. Yay. The hollow machines were the highlight. <laughs> they were pretty good. They were pretty good. I liked them. They were fun. Um, there we go, okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, specific window. Here we go. Should do it. Perfect. Okay, I didn't see like any of that because. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Oh. Alright, unsafe driving conditions reported from Metro Park to 64th Street. Minutes used, 2%. I remember having a phone like that. There was a, like a screen just like that on the front with um, options to send quick messages. However, because I tend to keep phones in my back pocket, I ended up sending Katamari, like, I don't know, I wanna say a couple dozen in a meeting texts when we first started dating. <laughs> Because that was one of the preset uh, options. All right, I don't know what the. Okay. Can I use? Can I use compute? Use computer? Nope. <laughs> Tab. Okay, a new star is born. Oh, okay. Thanks, L. This can't be L. Who is this, and why do you have her phone? L, if that's really you, what happened? How are you alive? Talk to me, L. Twelfth and Mason Street. Are you in trouble? I'm coming. Um, but she's dead apparently. This is like some James Sunderland level, like, huh, what? Okay, I'll be right there. I love Silent Hill too. Let's see, uh, down power lines, blackouts reported in South City neighborhood. Uh oh. I don't know how to pick that up. Oh, a mobile phone lies in the snow. 
Did it belong to the driver? But whoever was in this wreck, they're not here anymore. Both the car and the phone are abandoned. Alright. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Weird, okay. Good morning! Who's messaging me? Are you the one that was on Elle's number earlier? Elle? You're not her. I'm not quite sure what you mean, but I had a few questions for you. If you had a minute of time. Do you believe in life after death? Is that a threat? Do you think there's room for true love on this earth? Do you understand our Heavenly Father's plan for us all? If you'd like answers to these questions, I'm a member of a society that proves, provides answers. Samsung. Oh yeah, Samsung branding. I mean, I remember having a phone exactly like this, except it wasn't red. Which would have made it way better, and I would have kept it for longer. Actually, I think I had it for a couple years. Still though. Uh, <laughs> ghost booty call. Wait, is it really TOS? Is branding a TOS thing? I'd never heard that. If it is, I will exit the game, but... You're a Jehovah's Witness, never mind. To spammer, great. You had one with a slide out keyboard, awesome. I think I had one of those too. Haha, that's funny. Have you considered my questions? Oh, you meant just that the guy used Samsung in his game. Okay. Okay, that's good. I hope not. That would be kind of hard to police in a reasonable way. Stop texting random numbers. I'm blocking you. It is not? Okay. <laughs> just checking. Just checking. Alright, what is this? Snow is starting to pile up on top of this discarded digital camera. To check its photos would re require a PC, but maybe it's relevant. Alright. A video attachment? Oh boy. Stars born. This is what I'm here for. I'm into this. Oh, where am I? It's weird. Imagine though when it was just like the the angelic figure coming into the camera. If it was just then like something about a booty call. <laughs> hey, anyone home? Is this the right number? If you're another Jehovah's Witness, go away. I already blocked them this morning. If you block me, you will regret it. I'm in a bad mood today. Now, why don't you try telling me what exactly you were up to before sunrise today? Are you talking about the car wreck? Knew it. Who is this? Name is Goodwin. Well, not really, but it's fine to call me that. From suspicious spammer. First thing you need to tell me is who you are, why you're out about, and about this AM, and how you found that car. That's three things. I think you have the wrong number. You found a car this morning, 12th Street, there were footprints leading away from the scene. Although, your footprints also lead to the crash, but I know whose car that was, and it wasn't yours. You followed footprints? Nah, but I was tipped off that it was you, the person at the scene, who was on the scene. Oh, person at this number who was on the scene. So what's the setup? What's the plan? You're the one t stalking Elle? Elle, you know her? Elle Applewhite, vanished about a year ago. Did you kill her or something without knowing her name? That was her, she was my sister. And she didn't disappear a year ago, she died. I was at the funeral. Didn't know she had a sibling, but I was at the funeral too. But I guess she's still out there, huh? 
She messaged me, or someone with her number did. What about? A star, and a video, you could call it. Huh, I got that message about the new star too, and that damn video. But when she texted me the video, I was holding her phone. Someone could be spoofing the number, or the message was delayed or something. Listen, I have no reason to trust you, but I'm guessing... But I guess I'm a trusting guy, eh? So here goes. I've been investigating Elle's death slash disappearance slash reappearance or whatever for a month. Figured why not, I'm out of work anyway. She was being tailed when she supposedly died, I know that much. Damn suspicious if you ask me. And a couple weeks back, there were traces of her at old work sites. Stuff that really no one but her could have known. Guess I'll have to trust you too if you know about all that. But you were one of her work partners. Just a footman in the scheme of things, but yeah, we were associates. Business partners, you could say. Oh, not a huge fan? I didn't talk to her for almost two years before her death. She fell into some shady career, I thought. She never really said. Lol, well, judge all you want. I'm the one with the lead on tracking her. Sorry, I just mean I don't have the details of what she was up to before her death. Luckily, I do. Not that I feel like telling you if you're going to be all judgy. But I'm still taking on faith that you aren't actually the stalker and or religious nut that was after her. You're not, right? I'm not a psycho or religious nut. No, not that I know of. Excellent. Sane people I can work with. Maybe we can share info. I have no info except the messages I received this morning, which it sounds like you've got as well. Did you spot anything in the wreck? I saw prints. Case the car pretty good. There's a camera. I think the photos were recent, but I have no idea where they're from. Seven image attachments. And the phone. I think it must have been hers. The contacts were wiped except for an Orion. Those people? Or just one person? Does Orion mean something to you? I suppose it's a star. It's a constellation, also an organization, sort of. How long is this? Let me just play this game. It's like a full phone cutscene right now. <sighs> the only guy I could find who had spotted Elle this past year when she should have been dead, he was a member of this thing called Orion Devout. They're like, I don't know, one of those new social things for lonely people with big unlimited SMS plans. Seem to involve lots of texts from strangers. I cleared them from the investigation first thing. It's just a bunch of kids. Maybe that was it. This Orion contact sent a, bu sent a bunch of nonsense. I figured it must be a code or something. Hmm, sounds fishy. Not like my Orion devout guys, after all, actually. Listen though, I'll put you in touch with a friend of mine who might find that message really interesting. She's into codes and that sort of funny stuff. Another business partner? Yeah, but she was a friend of L too. Worked with her about as much as I did. Way smarter than me, too. Well, thanks. No problem, bud. Consider it thanks for these photos. Maybe I'll even drop you a line if I figure anything out, lol. Okay. Hello, you don't know me, but I'm a relative of someone else- Someone you knew as L. Applewhite. I've learned she might still be alive, and someone called Goodwin told me to- You might be able to help. Ah, yes, L. Dead, not yet dead- Yet not dead, missing woman. Funny, how's someone supposed to be both dead and missing? I was told you might have information. Hmm, maybe it's not as funny if you're her parent, I suppose. Sorry, I haven't spoken to her since her not death. She was my sister, actually. Goodwin said you were interested in codes or that sort of thing. It's that guy's idea of a joke. You're speaking with control. Control? Yes, the very same. The notorious control. The brains behind most of Z's jobs back when Z was still a thing. I don't know Z either. Serious? Elle's sibling, and she never told you what she did for a living? We were estranged. Yeah, if Goodwin sent you my way, then he must figure something needs hacking. What have you got for me? He never mentioned anything like that. Just something that might be a code. I have Elle's phone, I think. There's a message from an Orion that's suspicious. But that's all I have to go off of. That and a prank video from this morning. Oh, so you got that too, huh? What'd you think? Unsettling. It's intriguing, is what it is. A human made that. Why? What's the motive, right? And to start, I figured it was just the old Z crew that got sent it. I supposed it was an ex-client trying to intimidate us. But if you got it too... This is very long. Like, there's more dialogue. Well, not dialogue. There's more text messaging in this game than, uh, than games so far. I'll read a little bit more. If it doesn't cut it short, I'm getting a little... Soon, I'm getting a little tired of reading. <laughs> to be totally honest with everybody. Um, because I'm out of water. And I'm out of biotine, which I really should start using before stream. Okay. 
Wow, I'm actually interested now. Not often I've gotten puzzles like this. So then, L sibling, send me what you got. One text attachment. Could have cleared this up with a Zoom meeting. I know. Seriously. Or just a phone call. That's all of it. It ran across a couple messages. I'll run some analysis and get back to you. And I suppose I'd better get in touch with Godwin. Goodwin. He's been trying to rope me into his hunt for L since February. Hadn't heard from the man since Z went down, and now he tries to call in favors. Shameless as always. Speaking of favors, though, see if you can find any info on who sent this message. It might help me crack the thing. I'm not really sure where to start, but I can try. Police seek assailant for an apparent random assault on 3rd Street. No known motive. Oh my god. Hey, just thought I'd mention these photos are new, taken last week. Unless you altered them somehow? I didn't touch them. What makes you think they're recent? You know that substation fire back on 3rd knocked out power south of the highway? Yeah. You can see the damaged power lines in these. Then you know where they were taken? Still working on it. Could be anywhere south of 25th Street, but like, the moon is in the wrong direction. I'm actually out for a stroll right now. I know the city pretty well, so I'm sure I'll jog my memory eventually. Good luck. Okay. Dear Lord. I need water. <laughs> Um, oogle. It's, uh, it's oogle. Very good. Orion Devout. Do you believe in life after death? Do you think there's room for true love on this earth? Do you understand our heavenly, fa heavenly Father's plan for us all? Welcome to the homepage of Orion Devout, created by representatives of his astral will on this earth. The aesthetics of transcendence, one step above sapient sentience. Check it out. Check out our book. I am broken. Those texts broke me. They broke my mouth. Okay. Check out our book. $45 plus shipping and handling through priority mail. Send away via address below or contact us via email. Good news. The kingdom of heavens. The kingdom of the heavens is at hand. Exactly 2,000 years ago, our heavenly father manifested to us in a physical body, shell, to guide us upon this transient earth. Our predecessor students looked to their teacher to give them clues to the plan and answers to the great questions that humans propose. 1,000 years later, this cycle repeated as followers of our Heavenly Father based on the Saracens, Vikings, Magyars, but stood firm to his plan in the understanding that soon they would reach the next level above our understanding of this shell fake world. Hey, the Vikings were pretty cool. Sorry. We, we, I was literally talking about the Vikings with a, a group of friends of mine before the stream. Which is kind of funny. <sighs> now at the zenith, zenith of the millennium, the time has come again to gather under his banner and bring the cosmic heaven to Earth so that the plan may come to fruition. We urge students, young and old, to discard their shells and follow in the footsteps to, in these footsteps to millennia in the making. Okay, Heaven's Gate. Oh my god, stop texting me! Aha, uh -huh, I gotta figure it out. The video? No, that thing's a joke from a crazy, no one's ever gonna figure that one out. I mean the photos, I didn't recognize where they were taken because it's two spots. Ever been to 27th and Mission? No, that's a complete opposite end of the city from me. There's some sort of building there, could call it a church, but those things usually have crosses out front. Temple, maybe? Bottom line, that's one of the spots our L was photog photographing. Photographing. Second is a bad neighborhood north of 63rd, somewhere around Washington Station. Not sure on the exact location, but I had a job out there way back. There was some merchandise locked up in a bunker out there. Don't think Elle was on that job though, just me and Control. Oh yeah? You get in touch with her? Control? Yeah, she's looking at the message from Orion. Why did you say Orion Devout was a club? I checked their webpage and it looks more like a religion to me. Eh, well, let's say I'm covering the L thing from a couple angles. The video from this morning isn't even t my top lead. I don't care about Orion. But I know if I can get my hands on the goons that were trailing her when she vanished the first time, I can follow the trail. That's just what I'm good at, you know? A Zoom meeting, I know. <sighs> well, if you say, the webpage didn't look very intimidating, I guess. So what did you say to Control? I've been trying to get her to help this, on this thing forever, but she always kept laugh, laughing me off. God damn it. I gotta stretch my face. Ugh. Sorry, that was me doing like a with my mouth to try and stretch it out. It's the most exercise my mouth has gotten in a while. 
because I haven't really been talking to a lot of people all the time a lot. It's just sad. Anyway, when anyone at work says video call, I'm like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I would probably do the same. I mean, video calls are so, I don't know, the phone's fine. Especially if you gotta like comb your hair first and stuff. I don't wanna do that, no thanks. <sighs> All right, actually wait, lol, getting messages from her now. Chat later, man. Oh my God, stop texting me. I have good news and I have boring news. Are you around? No, here, sorry. No worries, the boring news is that the Orion message is a cipher, a poor one. I didn't think, didn't have to do any thinking, just sent it through my usual tools. Took a bit to recognize though, because what came back on the other side is almost as nonsense as the input. A URL? Maybe. I was using some random keys to try to interpret the message, but seeing as there are some English words in there, I suppose that must be the solution. But if you check the site for yourself, it's hard to believe anyone would need to link this to your sister. Dear Lord. No. I'm out. Oh. Okay, wow. Uh... Do you do vocal warm-ups? I think I'll start doing that. I should. I really should. Um, should do like cheek massages. Should do, should do some of these. You know, where you squish your face together. Actually, face massage feels pretty good. A news broadcast is on TV. An expert sociologist is discussing a possible explanations for the decline in foot traffic on city streets. I don't know, it's snowing. Look at me, not a scientist. Figured that one out. Else page. Bad decrypt key. Do you believe in life after 8A1E67B? Do you think there's room for true love on this shell? Do you EA76AA our Heavenly Father's plan for us all? Welcome to the homepage of 06510003D055793, created by representatives of 75A9 Astral Will. Oops. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Oh my god. Did you check it? You could call it a dead end. I saw it. This is really similar to the Orion Devout homepage, actually. Hmm, I'm not familiar. There's some- they're a new age religion or a club or something. Your friend Goodwin ran into them earlier, running after L. He thought Orion might refer to them. Well, new age cults might be one thing, but I thought they'd died out since Y2K turned out to be a flop, and don't they have better websites than this? Shameful. No, it's their site, but it's not. I don't know what this is supposed to be. L isn't the sort of person who would have been into this cheesy stuff, but if you- if it's as you say, and if Goodwin's report is right, they must be involved. Goodwin's report? Aha, yes, Goodwin is my man on the ground. I don't really leave my house, so he used to find the job sites, do the like worth and... You know what? I'm done with this. I'm really tired of this. Sorry. Sorry, game. No more. I- that's too much reading for me. I didn't- This is indie horror game Saturday, not indie horror novel Saturday. I'm sorry! I can't do it! It's too much! I need water. I need- I need water. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Well, that was, I'm sorry. I'm like, excuse me. I'm more annoyed at that than I was at the stupid jump scare earlier. Just because it's, it's one of those like, it is definitely a bit of a like sunken cost fallacy where it's like, well, I've been reading all this time and I don't want to do it anymore, but I'm sure if I keep reading a little longer, there will be some gain. But no, no, no way. Oh, okay, now we're gonna do some spookware and I'm actually really excited about this one. I am ready. Although I should also probably set this back to full screen. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> Thank you. I was having a really good reading night too, and then I just stopped giving a fuck because I was trying to get through it as much as possible, and I started like goofing all my words, and <sighs> it's fine. All right, let's do some spookware. There it is. Spookware, run. I hope this is full screen. 
It was a whole epic of a story. I know, it was so like granular. I don't want to deal with that. It's too much. All right. Uh, just gonna wait a second. There we go. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. That's right. I changed the resolution for fucking Vapor Temple or whatever it was. Yeah, I forget what it was. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, wait. Okay, too slow. Uh, uh oh. Oh! I failed! Alright, let me try this again. So, if you guys haven't picked up on it, this is basically WarioWare, but like, spooky WarioWare. It's pretty great. Uh, I just gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Ah, come on! Damn it! Okay. Oh, mur- I just found murder! It's up there! I see. Okay. I am failing at this very badly, but I- that's okay. Okay, time to go. Okay, where is Nosferatu? Where is he? Ah, oh, so close! Spooky wear, yep. Yay! I did one! I'm ducked. Ah! Alright. I really like this, I will say. Um, I don't know if they give you enough time. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. But... Frick. Yay, I did one. Uh. No! Game over. All right, I'll try one more time. Uh. I see, I see. All right. Where is that guy, Nosferatu? There he is! <laughs> Got him! Yeah. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do one more. One more. Hello? Got it. <laughs> Nobody's on the other end. Good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
but what does it mean? Close call. if I would play that for a really long time or anything, but I like it. I like it. Okay. Up next, we have Vincent and the Woodshred by Ravi. Let's see what that's all about. Wow, that's beans. I know. I know. That's okay. It was cool. That's a cool concept. I think they need a few more in there, and I think they need to give you a few extra seconds. Like, there should be an easy, medium, hard kind of thing. I know that's a lot to ask for for a, a tiny, free indie horror game, but, you know, just saying. I could see a lot of people being really into that if there was a few more and there were, like, settings, you know. <laughs> like, uh, gosh. What are, I'm trying to think of some more tropes. Hmm. I'm trying to think of more horror tropes that you could translate into tiny game form. Just like taking a shower in a horror movie. That's the only thing I can think of at the moment. All right, play. Ravi, Ravi? Is it Ravi or Ravi? I don't know. All right, Vincent and the Woodshred. I don't know what a Woodshred is. If anyone knows what a Woodshred is, let me know in chat. Thanks, guys. Okay, this looks good. Looks nice. Hey, Vincent. Your mom and me are off now to the concert. You're the hero of the house tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If there's any monsters around, you're gonna chase them away, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't forget to look after Grandpa. He doesn't feel very well, so he can't play with you. Just one more thing. Don't let all the lights on. Oh, Z would try. It's a little yes. bit weak. Mm -hmm. Okay, Winston. I'm very proud of you. Sleep tight. We will be back tomorrow. So would try. I like how this child's voice is like, mm -hmm. it sounds like, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Mama Max. Ma Mama Max is a really cool YouTuber who did, he did this YouTube video on a, on a pedophile ring. Um, that, not ring, but like an online, oh goodness, he did like two of them so far that have to do that, where he like baited some, some dudes, um, but he used a voice mod, and it sounded exactly like that. Okay. We're having technical difficulties. We apologize for the inconvenience and are working to restore our service. That looks pretty cool. I forgot about all the other controls. Let's see. Uh, cancel. Continue. Okay. I forget what you interact with. What you used to interact. Uh... I guess I'll just... I'll figure it out. Ah. What was that? Ah. Okay, that's handy. There's a box in there. Cool. 
Run then, gesund. Cool. No, I will leave that screen up. I like it. Uber vision. I also like that. I like these, uh, ooh, I like that. I like these three different light sources, colorful stuff going on here. That's pretty cool. Okay. I want my flashlight. I want a lot of things, Vincent. You can't always get what you want, though, okay? Sorry. Also, why is this young baby boy looking after the house? That seems like a bad idea, Dad. His very tiny voice. Unless Grandpa is technically in charge, but still, I don't know. What what kind of state is Grandpa in? That's my main question. Is he not feeling well, like, got a little bit of a headache not feeling well? Or is he not feeling well, like, Grandpa's uh, forgotten where he is again? not feeling well because you know that's kind of a big difference when you have a child in the house so weird this is a weird texture fridge mortis ah faith i think there's a third one coming out soon so that's pretty cool i will most definitely play that when it comes out. What's over here? Ooh, neat. Got these windows. Ooh, a lake. I wanna go to that lake. <sighs> but as I said to Vincent earlier, we can't always get what we want. The key for Grandpa's apartment. Oh, it's not even the same building? Goodness. When forces collide and, and unveil, the rage a soul better hide than burning in cage. Old German saying, what? Then why is it in English? And what does it mean? That's not a real German saying, I don't think. Oh no, why is this bath of the same wallpaper? Uh... Can't tell the sense of scale for this game because I seem to be the right height for some things. Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Maybe not. Okay. Tiny lime. Ti what? Tiny lime is play. Back show? What? Okay. The monster. My ugly big friend. That's, uh, that's very nice. I'm looking for a flashlight. I'm not seeing said flashlight. I guess I'll turn on the lights everywhere. How often do you pull open drawers in someone's house and find that there's nothing in there? Like, next to never. Right? It's kind of weird to find... Uh, to find drawers with nothing in them if you're not in an Ikea. Or, you know, they haven't just moved in. More often than I care to admit. Wait, really? You find empty drawers? I'll shut these drawers. I won't be a rude, a rude boy. There's cars. Is that a flashlight? Yes. Okay. Press F to use your flashlight. Left. 
Hold the left mouse button to recharge it and repeat. Okay. All right. I have a flash like this. I should check on Grandpa. A being with patience can set up trace connecting locations that lead to a place. Old German sayings. That doesn't that doesn't sound right. I don't think that's a German saying at all. I think that's some some stuff you made up. It's like that sounds vague, vaguely folksy enough. Why not? Oh. Closet. Okay. Uh, how do I get to Grandpa's? Do I have to leave? Go outside? Okay. Huh. Ah. All right, I want to see the lake first. Ooh, neat. Ah. Aha. Oh, wait, this is yeah, I'll go in the other way. Ooh, garden, I think. Where does this go? Where am I going? Hold up. Okay. What's down here? It's a weird light. It's a basement key. It's in Grandpa's apartment. Okay, I guess. Wait, what's up here? Is this just the road going out? Yeah, and there's a gate, and it's padlocked. Great. Uh. Oh, hold up. Is this Grandpa's apartment? Wait a minute. As strange as it seems, the more you awake in danger, the dreams, the lore was a- What? That doesn't even grammatically make sense! As stranger it seems, the more you awake in danger, the dreams, the lore was a fake. That doesn't- that's not a sentence. That's just a bunch of words you stuck together. Here we go. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. Hello! Grandfather, it is I, your baby boy, Vincent. I am the hero of the night, as my father has told me. How do I... hold on. This is very important. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, I guess I can't turn it off. That's fine. 
Time never changed, but life is a threat. A circle no range created to spread. That's not a saying. I couldn't turn it off. What is this, sandstorm? Get that out of here. Also, what's up with the TV? Say what now? Uh, okay. Grandpa? Grandpa? The bombs are going off, Grandpa. I'm gonna... Actually, there's a window right here, so this isn't even that good of a... The bombs go off. Uh, goodness, this isn't... Yep, uh, shoot, I don't know. Crap, probably the shower, I guess. Also, where is my grandfather? Well. Grandpa's gone. Just gotta find the key to the basement now. My diary. Only grandfather knows. And what your knowledge is holy. And why your knowledge is holy. A story by somebody whose name I can't read. Hold on. Oh. Uh, oh. Is there anything over here? I'm looking for a key, which is why I'm still here. Oh, there it is. Found it. That was easy. Basement door. Maybe he's in the basement. Oh. I'm for a walk with the dog. A. A grandfather. Oh, Antonio. Okay, well. Still not up here. It's in here though. Oh, wine and a rubber duck. Good. Uh-oh. Door problems! There we go. Uh-oh. There's the red thing again. What is it? Uh-oh. What is this thing? That's pretty weird. Okay. Wow, cool basement. Okay. Cask of Amontillado over here. Lots of VCRs. Oh, it's a DVD player. My bad. Uh, the Wood Shroud. Deep in the forest at outermost trees lives the bravest shouter ghost of these. Shouter ghost? What? The old one, he has a wooden heart, protecting his brothers as revered guard. Revered guard, stay away of his roots, little man in fear when the giant's boots get louder and near. The only pleasures he seeks, my fellow, 
when little treasures do shine in yellow, a man who tell that the night is gone will be the one that fell before dawn. Grandpa, get out of the catacombs! Grandpa! Mom and Dad say you weren't feeling well. What are you doing down here? God. All right, I got a duck. I guess I'm gonna have to give ducks to this thing. I guess. Oh, Casco Amontillado. Duck. Daksu. Okay. I guess all the ducks down here, probably, I hope. I'll go find Ducks in another room then. Wait, if I'm a child and Ah, uh, never mind. It's probably correct. Alright, ducks. Gotta find ducks. My eyes itchy again. Okay. There's one. Oh, wow. That's a weird monster. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm guessing I gotta find all these ducks and then give it to the thing as a, an offering or something because that poem said it, it likes yellow stuff. The conveniently open book. Yeah. But I think I'm going to move on from this one. Kind of interesting, but I'm not really in the mood to collect stuff, so yeah. Moving on. Alright. Next game. Dead Factory by Elrod. Dead Factory. What's all this? Is this? Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Weird. Okay, never mind. Um. I apparently, it looks like I might have to install this, but I'm not really sure how. I'm not really seeing, uh, there's a redistribute, redistributable, but that's not usually an installer. That's weird. Never mind. <laughs> We're going to go with One for the Road by Fingers Dipped in Red, which, to be totally honest, I wasn't super, I didn't feel super confident in this one, but I'm kind of doing, kind of doing, blah, kind of doing them at random at the moment. So we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. And hopefully, if it's really bad, it's really funny. I guess it's also that. Okay. All right. All right. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Violence and gore! I don't know how they want me to... Okay. Fingers Dipped in Red presents...
One for the road. Okay. All right. What you got for me? Fingers dipped in red. I like moons, so good work already. October twelfth, nineteen sixty-three. Voice acting. Lynn Hall, Anthony Turner, and a group of their friends fell victim to a bizarre, foul, cannibalistic serial predator. This Caitlin Walker was the sole survivor of that night of terror. Miss Caitlin Walker said she had woken up in an old coffin in the basement of a chapel where the life had been sucked out of the body she saw. Some of the bodies had missing heads and had been crucified upside down. Toby Hanna State Patrol conducted a month-long manhunt that ended with no findings. But during the last six years, over and over again, reports of bizarre grisly mass murders have persisted all across the state of Toby Hanna. The Toby Hanna State Massacre has not stopped. It continues to haunt Toby Hanna. Okay. Okay. Alright, what you got for me, game? Uh, gosh, what was that? Whatever we hit. I swear it looked like a mannequin. I have to get help, but man, I have to be. I hope they have a restroom here. This is, uh, the second gas station I have stopped at in an in Indie Horror Saturday game. Also, if you're a dude and you're in the middle of nowhere, can't you just, you know, like, pick a corner and real quiet, like, just, like, you know, you know, I don't know. I always want to do that, and I'm a woman because, like, fuck it, that's not fair. That's so convenient. Just go wherever you want, as long as no one can see you. Well, also because it's a lot less obvious if you're a dude. I'm not advocating for peeing in public. I'm just saying, like, if you're out in the middle of the sticks and you don't really, really got to pee, but you're also worried about your your own safety, uh, don't worry about it. Just just go. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I have, like, one time when I was driving home, it was really late at night, it was super dark, I really had to pee, there was like no rest stop anywhere near, um, oh, I like how there's a skull on the side of this ice machine here, so I like, I pulled over at, um, there was like a little, you know, those little, like, curves off of the highway just so that you know trucks can pull over or like uh service vehicles can pull can turn around pulled off there and i just kind of like <laughs> got out of my car i don't know why i'm telling you guys this it's just yeah sometimes you just can't worry about it too much if your safety's on the line because oh that's why because the other option other than just staying right by my car was going into the dark woods where um there could be murderers and or uh broken glass and I didn't really want to do that, so I just stayed by my car. It was fine. It was dark. What's in here? Okay. Alright, well... Can't go out that way. What the fuck is Daddy doing out there? He's just fiddling around with stuff. Daddy, what are you doing? Alright, um, what's over here? Anything? Uh, I, I, the only thing I can think of is, like, back there. But it won't open. So unless I'm missing something really obvious. Yeah, what is it with games with gas stations being really confusing?
Maybe I'll just keep knocking. All right, I don't know what to do with this game. Oh, let's see, settings. Uh, yeah, return to menu. Quick game. Sorry, game. You lost me. All right. Uh, I think I am actually... Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. Kind of a slow night. I am way more tired than I thought, and... Yeah, I don't know. That's okay. Not every stream can be amazing. You just try to make them, but if they're not, that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to send this raid over to Lovelini, who is streaming Animal Crossing. So that'll be a nice, fun change of pace. Yeah, okay. Uh, kind of a weird Indie Horror Saturday, but that's fine. All good. And um, yeah, I hope you have fun with Lini, and I hope to see you all soon. So take care, everybody. I hope you have a really nice Sunday, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. This has been the, let me, oh wait, I should do that first. I'm all out of sorts. Yeah, I'm sleepy. That's not good. <laughs> okay, all right. There, now we're ready. This has been the Night Shift with Respawn Machine. Thank you for all for being here. I had a good time, hope you did too. And I hope to see you really soon. Take care, friends. Good night.